three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're going to go ahead and navigate directly to our agent dashboard. And to do that, I'm going to open up Google Chrome here on my desktop for you to see. And to get to command, I need to open up in Google Chrome agent.kw.com. And it's going to prompt me to sign in. But if I'm already signed in, it's going to take us to this page here, the dashboard. And this here is an overview about everything that you're going to experience here on the dashboard. Starting in the top black banner, we're going to see two icons. I have a third one because as a member of leadership, I'm a part of the Market Center version of Command. However, on your version, you may only have two, Command and this button called Connect. Connect is our learning management hub that, ex that showcases all the different learning opportunities that we have within Keller Williams here, both on online, in-person, and digital downloaded, uh, downloadable products as well. On the right-hand side, we're going to see a marketplace icon, which allows us to have integrations between command, both inside and leading out of command, our notifications pane, a dropdown with our name that includes things such as your profile, settings, command training, and a place to log out. If you're on a team account or part of a team, you're going to have this other account section here for whatever team you're a part of. And then on the right-hand side, a question mark, question mark icon that allows you the opportunity to experience guided tours of command, Keller Williams University, a place where you can chat with support anytime, 10 a.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern, and a place to post an idea you may have to further improve command. On the main page of the home screen, you're going to find four buttons here at the very top, leads that you've never contacted, those who have been recently active on your website in the past 72 hours, any birthdays that are on the horizon, and those with a home anniversary this month. You also have an opportunity on the home page of command to rearrange any of these tiles that are below here in any sort of way that you see best fit. So by clicking on this customize button, you have the opportunity to check or uncheck widgets that are on the home screen. I suggest having tasks checked, product updates checked, your goals checked. At the time of this recording, the design updates widget has not been updated for quite some time. I would uncheck that until they decide uh, to update that widget there. Please have your database health checked. A notepad you could take or leave, recent leads, activity tracking, and profit share should be checked as well. If you do not have the activity tracking piece, we've got a separate video on how to make sure that you have that check there. On the right-hand side, you have the ability to rearrange the layout of these widgets here on your home screen. If you'd like to take any of these and move them around, you can click on the handles on the left-hand side indicated by the six dots, and you can click and drag any of these widgets to get rearranged here on the screen. Some of them can only stay here on the left side, while others have the ability to move back and forth on the left and the right side there. Once you've decided on your layout, you can click the teal apply button down here at the bottom, and that will go ahead and lock in your changes. One more piece here on the command home screen that if you ever click on the, yellow, on the red KW icon in the upper left corner, this is a huge helpful benefit because this will help explain all of the different icons on the left-hand side with their indicated names. So if you hear anyone or any of us in leadership discussing a different aspect of command, we may, we may use one of these words here. So there's that. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Let us know if you have any questions or anything more that we can assist with. Thanks again for watching.